Welcome back to Old School Sports and our Tennis Manager 21 playthrough. We are at the start of the grass court season, and Stefan Kozlov is headed to the Nottingham Open, while Zachary Sfida is headed to the Columbus Open. Uh, Stefan has already been accepted for uh, Wimbledon in a few weeks at the end of grass court season. Uh, Zachary, ranked 247th in the world, uh, is not going to even play in qualifying for Wimbledon this year. And although Zach Spida got knocked out at the round of 16 at the Columbus Open uh, in the 125 level event in Nottingham, uh, Stefan Kozlov has uh, made it into the semifinals uh, against Philip Christian Gianu from Romania. Uh, this looks like it could be the toughest match that he has left. Um, so hopefully he can get by this into the semifinals and uh, it would be great to get to the finals of a 125 level event for uh, Stefan Kozlov. You can see he's split both of his previous career matches against Gianu. But he's enthusiastic about the opportunity today. We'll see how this match goes in the semifinals of the Nottingham Open on grass. Would be a big win for Kozlov if he's able to win this match and also win in the finals to get a 125 level victory. That would go a long way towards uh, getting into the top 50 in the world, which is our uh, primary goal for him at the end of this season. And so far in the early stages, um, we are up a break on Gianu here on the grass. And a 6-3 first set victory for Stefan Kozlov. Hopefully he can keep the momentum going here in the second set. And we're now down a break in the second set, however. But we did break back. And a nice victory for Stefan Kozlov, 6-3, 7-5 over Philip Christian Gianu to go to the finals of the 125 level Nottingham Open on grass. So we will be moving on to the finals and we're going to be facing Jun Chen Shang here in the finals of the Nottingham Open. Not sure if Kozlov has faced Shang before. We'll find out shortly. And you can see Stefan is the number one seed in the tournament. Gianni was the fourth seed. Now he's against the unranked and, uh, well, 190th ranked in the world, but unseeded Jun Chen Shang, who's uh, taken out a few ranked players in the tournament. Took out 16th ranked Arthur Phils, 15th ranked Pierre Hughes Herbert, and... That may be the only... Actually, he probably took out a real top seed in the early stages of the tournament. Yeah, Jun Chen Shang started off taking out the second seed, Daniel Altmaier. So he is on a good run, but hopefully when all is said and done, Stefan will be the champion despite the great running run by Jun Chen Shang here. 18-year-old from China they've never faced before. Stefan is troubled. We will see how the match goes. And Stefan is up an early break here in the finals on Jun Cheng Shang. Great first set for Stefan Koslov, taking it 6-1. He has never won at the 125 level in his career. So this is an opportunity for Stefan to make a, a big step forward in his progression. And he's up early break here in the second set also. 
a 6163 victory for Stefan Kozlov on the grass at the 125 level Nottingham Open. The first time in his career that he has won at this high level. So a uh, fantastic performance for Kozlov that should definitely help him in the rankings going forward. Well, after the big win for Stefan Kozlov in the 125 level Nottingham Open, uh, been a quieter uh, grass court season. Uh, took a week off back at the academy and then he lost in the first round of the 250 level Nature Valley International last week. But we'll be starting at Wimbledon this week. Uh, Zachary Sfida has also had a pretty quiet grass court season so far. Bounced in the round of 16 at Columbus. Uh, also took a week off and then he lost in the first round qualifying for the Nature Valley International. He is at the Ludwigshafen Open this week so uh, hopefully he can get a uh, better performance there and at least string a couple of wins together. But the big match is obviously going to involve Stefan Kozlov at Wimbledon. And he will be facing Quentin Hallis in the first round. Let's take a look at the draw. Tsitsipas, number one ranked player in the world, is the number one seed here at Wimbledon. Let's scroll down and see what the draw looks like for Stefan Kozlov. And uh, he gets the qualifier who got in on a wild card, Quentin Hallis. So... Um, not a bad draw for Stefan. Uh, would be really good at this point if he could get a Grand Slam uh, victory in the books this season. Uh, if we look at his results for the year, he got knocked out in the first round of both the Australian Open and the French Open. Uh, he did win a match at Wimbledon a year ago. Certainly at a minimum, we'd like to win a, a match match here this year also. He has faced Quentin Hallis once before, beat him. Uh, so hopefully that is a good sign for Stefan against the Frenchman here at the All England Tennis Club. Stefan Kozlov, Quentin Hallis here at Wimbledon on the grass. And Kozlov is up an early break, uh, just had another break too. So a nice first set for Kozlov, a 6-2 victory over Hallis in the first set. Hopefully can keep that momentum going here in the second set. And Stefan is up another early break here in the second set. So he's taken the first two sets at this point here at Wimbledon. Hopefully he can knock the third set out, and he is up an early break, up two early breaks. So an excellent performance from Stefan Kozlov in the first round of Wimbledon, a 6-2-6-3-6-0 win, win over the French qualifier, Quentin Hallis. So Kozlov is on to the second round at Wimbledon. And we'll be facing a tougher match for Kozlov here in the second round against Ugo Humbert, 23rd uh, seed at Wimbledon, 24th ranked player in the world, uh, also a straight set winner in his first round match. Uh, he won 4-2-4 four, four against Nicolas Bashilavi. Have never faced the 24-year-old before in our career. Going to be a tough match for Stefan. We are definitely the outsider in this one. But Stefan is determined. It would be huge to get a, another victory here at Wimbledon. So we are on serve here midway through the first set. And we just got broke. Uh, we got broke by Humbert late in that first set, so disappointing. Uh, hopefully we can turn the tide here in the second set against Ugo Humbert. And we are up an early break now, but just got broken back. Oh, 
but we got another break, so we've evened things up at one set each here in the second round of Wimbledon against the 23rd seed. Stefan is pumped. Let's see if we can have a positive result here in the third set, but we are already down two breaks. Oof. Ugly set for us. So now uh, we have our backs against the wall a little bit down two sets to one to Ugo Humbert. Let's see if we can bounce back here in the fourth set, but we look like we're getting somewhat tired. And we are down a break, but we broke back. Uh, it looks like we suffered an injury though here. Uh, it says that we forfeit, so... Uh, Probably not optimal. We had been fighting back. Let's see what uh, what we have to say. Serious injury for Stefan Kozlov. Dislocated shoulder out for 24 to 30 days. So definitely not optimal with our goal of getting Stefan up to the top 50 in the world that we're going to miss a good month of tennis here in the 2024 season. Absolutely could derail our plans, but it is what it is at this point. So um, disappointing. It looked like we were, well, we had even evened our way and rallied a bit back in that fourth set. And certainly no guarantees that we were going to win it, but uh, definitely not the way we want to go out at Wimbledon. And now this will uh, certainly impact us into the summer hard court season. Hopefully we will, we will be healthy and well by the time we get to the uh, U.S. Open. So while Stefan is rehabbing, uh, looks like Zachary Svida's week also came to an end. He made it to the quarterfinals of the Ludwig Schaffen Open, which was an 80-level event going on the same time as Wimbledon. So a respectable form performance for the youngster there. So we've made it to the end of grass season, uh, mid-July. Uh, you can see that... Uh, for Stefan Kozlov, he had a 6-2 record, uh, won that 125-level tournament, and also won a match at Wimbledon. But uh, And he's got up to 51st in the world, but now we are dealing with rehabbing from this injury. So uh, hopefully he will be healthy and well in uh, about three or four weeks, and he will be ready to uh, play at the U.S. Open and hopefully do some damage there, but uh, not optimal to have him on the uh, bench for about a month as we try to get into the top 50 in the world and meet our goals for the year. Uh, Zachary Spida, uh, kind of a more mixed result for him after uh, some exceptional results through the first half of the year. Uh, only played in three tournaments, had a 3-3 three and three record, uh, did improve from 250th in the world to 236th. So Spida is absolutely going to achieve most, if not all, of his goals for the year. Uh, the question now is whether we can get Stefan Kozlov into the top 50 in the world as he comes back from this injury when we get into hard court season. Until then, though, we will call this episode a wrap. Uh, we will be back, as I mentioned, with hard court season in our next episode and hopefully getting Stefan Kozlov healthy and ready to hopefully make a run in the U.S. Open in New York. Until then, thanks so much for watching and hope you have a great day.